Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Stock Talk. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Julie and welcome. And today I want to talk to you guys about what's going on in the markets. So everybody's talking about possibly entering a bear market or we are already in the bear market. And um, as we can see, the SPY was down 1.77% today and the triple Qs were down 2.5%. So the triple Qs is actually tracking the NASDAQ 100 and the SPY is tracking the S&P 500. So those are the two indexes I like to check for when I'm looking at the overall market. Then also Goldman Sachs actually reported earnings today and then didn't come quite in with the estimates had in mind. They were estimating um, $12.00 and 10 cents and they actually came in at ten dollars and 81 cents so goldman sachs kind of brought down the market today now of course there's also lots of talk of inflation there is talks of the interest rates being hiked four times this year so there's so much going on there's worries about the omicron virus lots of negative things are impacting the stock market so however there are still ways to make money on the stock market you can start opening positions in good quality companies that you've been wanting to buy on a discount but you couldn't because they just went crazy high over the last couple of years but now you have a chance that you can actually get into them you can sell puts you can buy puts if you already own stocks you can sell cover calls against your shares um, this way you collect a premium even though if they're down if you don't already own the stocks you can sell puts to possibly get the stock even cheaper and collect a premium while you do that if you do own for example s p 500 stocks and you're currently down on them you can buy puts that kind of will protect you on the downside and you'll make money as the stocks are going down but either way um, what i want to do today in today's video i want to give you a list of about 30 35 different stocks that are all in over sold territory right now so that you guys can go through these um, do your research on these companies and then cherry pick the stocks that are good for you guys so not every single stock on this list is probably going to be of interest to you but at least this way you guys have something where you guys can do some more research and then see if you want to start a position in these stocks all right so let's go through this list if you guys need to pause the video as i'm going through the list so that you guys can jot down those stocks and then do your research on them as always this is not financial advice so you always have to do your own research anyways but let me go right ahead and get started so the first stock that's in oversold territory is goldman sachs it's sitting on the 300 day moving average then the next stock that i have is charter communications now this stock has fallen way below its 300 day moving average so we definitely want to wait and see for support and confirmation before we enter the stock or if you're planning on holding any of these stocks for at least three to five years, then again, you can start with a small position and just add to your position when they are dipping even further. So the next stock is Chipotle Mexican Grill. Then we have BlackRock. We have Costco, Netflix, which Netflix was on a major run. We can see it made a high of $700 and we're sitting right now at $510. Um, it is sitting below this 300 day moving average. So again, be sure that you wait and make sure it finds support. Then we have Intuit, Intuitive Surgical, First Republic Bank San Franchi. It's sitting on 300 day moving average. And you can see some of these stocks even pay a dividend. So that's nice too. So even if you're down on the stock, at least you would be collecting a dividend. Then we have Generic Holdings. We have Paycom Software. We have SD Lauder. Ensys, Moody's Corporation, ServiceNow, Enphase Energy, Domino's Pizza, Sintas, Verisign, Home Depot, Price T. Rowe, Atlassian Corporation, DocuSign. Now, DocuSign is one of the stocks that's incredible run because of the shutdown. But I think DocuSign, if you look at the company's fundamentals, and the projections i think in the long term this is a great company to hold um, but again make sure that you wait for support and confirmation before you enter into the stock or start a small position and don't enter with a full position just yet then we have carmax we have crest diagnostics ecolab starbucks sherman williams zoom zoom is another stock that all-time highs during the pandemic so that has come down quite a bit it's sitting at 157 and we can see that for the last 
what is it, three, four, five months, it's been on a downtrend spiral. So definitely make sure that you wait for um, support and confirmation before you enter into the stock. So this could be a tricky one, but it is an oversold territory. Then we have Next Era Energy, American Water, Nike, Twitter, Aeon, Iron Mountain, Metaport, American Tower, SBA Communication, Etsy, Broadridge Fin Solutions, Digital Realty Trust, Rustic Analytics, and Lululemon. So all of these stocks are pretty much in oversold territory, but that doesn't mean that they can't go any lower. So that's why I'm saying just start compiling your watch list and then take a look at these stocks. And when you see signs of recovery, you know, then you can start entering. If you guys wanted to purchase the stocks by selling a put, let's say we go to Starbucks. Let's go and take a look at the option chain. And we can see for Starbucks in May, we have um, quite a bit of open interest and some volume. So we wanted to sell the 80 strike and collect a premium of 174. That means if by May 20th, if the stock goes below 80, then we are actually assigned. Then we are the happy owner of 100 shares of Starbucks at a price of $80. Actually minus the 174. So you subtract that premium from the price. So your new price would actually be um, 78 and 26 cents so that would be your price for starbucks if it stays above 80 dollars and you get to keep the premium and you could do another put for that but if you if you're planning on owning starbucks shares and and you get it for that price point i think that's a great price so that's the way to do it or if perhaps you own already 100 shares you can also sell calls against your shares for instance if you go out to april you could sell the 115 and collect $70 for every 100 shares that you have. So again, there are always ways that you can make money in the market. Equally, you could also buy puts. So if you think that lower further, then you could buy a put that would cost you $440. But if the stock does go any lower than the break even price, which your break even price would be $90.60 because it subtracts the premium from the from the strike price if it goes any lower than ninety dollars and sixty cents then the premium actually starts going up and you actually make in money so that is how you can protect yourself too when the stock goes down that you already own so there's lots of different ways to make in money in the market anyways guys i hope this video helped you guys out if it did please be sure to hit the like button subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below to let me know what stocks you guys are putting on your watch list and considering purchasing and i'll see you guys in my next video